I'm Sophia Vialba, your community reporter in Morro Bay, where a new pharmacy is set to go in right behind me off of Main Street within the next few months. I spoke with the owner to find out what his plans are for this location and why he chose Morro Bay. There is a huge concern there um, about having only one pharmacy and it's not meeting uh, the demands for the population. Ehab Das owns Pilsay Pharmacy in Arroyo Grande. With more than a decade of experience in the pharmaceutical world, he tells me he focuses on low-cost medications for patients. So we lower the cost for over-the-counter items and also um, the co-pays for the patients by just getting the cheapest medications uh, possible. He says there has been a growing need for another pharmacy in Morro Bay, inspiring him to open up a second location. And we actually started having some transfers for our uh, uh, patients from Morro Bay coming to us here in Arroyo Grande to start filling, since we already do free delivery, um, to start filling their prescriptions and delivering it to them. We have an increasingly senior population. Uh, we need more pharmacies and more, uh, more health care options in our community. Some people in the community tell me having one pharmacy in town has been a growing problem. Looking forward to it because uh, World Bank Gift and Drugs, where I used to be, that's a small pharmacy, it closed. So the only one we have is Rite Aid. It's really, uh, you know, long lines waiting for stuff. Aaron Ox agrees. Ever since the Morro Bay Drug and Gift closed, uh, a lot of residents were scrambling to find a place to get their prescriptions filled. Doss says they currently deliver medications to senior homes in Morro Bay and will be focusing on service at the new location. For the patients, we don't have any lines and we depend on delivering the medications to the patients' houses. Doss tells me he expects the pharmacy to be open on January 1st of next year. In Morro Bay, Sophia Vialba, KSBY News.